Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Tyler and I'm here today to show you how to load and remove filament internally on your micro printer. First, take a look, we're here with our printer. We have a roll of natural PLA from micro. You can see it's marked here, and this is one of their small spools. It fits right under here. First thing we need to do is remove this build plate. So I'm going to snap it up and I just stick my finger under there and I pull it out just like that. And now you can see down there is where we stick the filament. Okay, now I came around to the side of the bay that holds the spool and you can see the filament tube here. We're going to take the filament and simply set it down right inside with the filament going in the tube. Now you can see I want to put the, the filament in just right so it's spooling off in the proper direction. If I put it in this way as you can see it's going the opposite direction of the tube. So we'll flip over our spool and take the filament and very carefully slide it. This is kind of an awkward position. I do apologize. There we go. Slide it into the tube. Now I'm going to pinch onto the tube with my fingers. It's a lot easier when I'm not trying to do this in front of a camera. And I'm going to push the filament into the tube. It takes a minute to get it all the way in because you have to get it all the way up to the print head. Once it's there you'll feel it stop. It's almost there. Now it's there. As you can see it's in there. Now we're going to go into the software and hit the load filament button. I'll show you that now. Okay now that we have the filament into the internal tube we're going to come here to the uh, micro software and we're going to go to the top left corner where it says settings and in the settings menu it says manage filament. It could be on any of those but we're going to hit manage filament and it says load filament internal and remove filament internal. We're going to use load filament internal. It brings up a screen that shows you the same exact thing I just did. Pop off the bed, line the filament up and push it in the tube. Not as easy as the picture makes it out but it goes in. Now the print head is up so we've hit move print head up and now we're going to hit load filament. This will actually take a minute because my print head is cold now. So I'm going to stop the video and we'll resume once it's ready. Okay, now you can see it says grabbing filament. So we're going to go to the printer and see. It is indeed, nope, let's give it a little push. I'm just pushing on it with my fingers. And you can feel it grab. And okay. Now it's definitely grabbing the filament. Give me an extra second. And there you can see it's spitting out the nice clear, natural, translucent filament from M3D. We'll give it a minute to um, totally prime itself. It'll stop in a second. Okay, now that has indeed stopped. We've removed that excess little bit of filament and we're going to install the roll. Give it a little twist and it'll just fall right into the pocket. Just like that. Now we're going to take the build tech pad and we're going to slide it in. You'll see this side is completely flat. It goes towards the back of the printer. This side has two little rabbit ears goes towards the front of the printer. Very important. Will not go in if you don't do that properly. Just like that. Now you're ready to print uh, with your internally loaded PLA. But now I want to show you how to remove it. 
And just like before, we remove the pad, which as you've seen, pull out the filament, just like that. And now we're going to go back over to the program and hit remove. We're back at the program at the last screen you see. But next to that, and of course we've already shown you this and removed it. We got a little ahead of the process. Now we'll go back to manage filaments and we'll hit remove filament internal. And again, it's showing you pull the head out, pull the filament out, move the print head up. Three important things. You can't do that without doing any of the above. For me, all three are already done. So we're going to scroll down and hit remove filament. Now, it's already hot, so it's coming out quickly. We're going to come down. And you can see, we're just going to give it a little tug. For good measure, I'm going to try to keep the camera zoomed. But it's coming right out. And there it just broke free. It really is a lot of filament that goes up through that tube. And that's it. There's the end of it. And the filament is removed now internally. Okay, now I've shown you how to load and remove the filament internally. There's one last important step that I skipped in between them that, that I showed you in the last video. I'll show you one more time in case you didn't watch the last video. And you need to set up a profile for your filament. So you would hit select load of filament or this would automatically load if you've changed. And you would come down to hit add profile. Now, we had an M3D PLA. And you see the list. But we're gonna select the M3D PLA and we're gonna put in our proper color somewhere down in here is natural and the spool for me was about half full so I'll put in 125 now you can see it's there and it is selected it is loaded it says right there the filament profile M3D PLA natural one is currently loaded that is very important that sets your temperatures for your print had you not changed it and it said ABS you would be at the wrong temperature and thus probably get a poor print quality. I've been down that route, trust me, you want us to change it. So, with all that said, we have, well, that is all for this video. Uh, if you found this video useful or helpful, please press the, the like button or subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments below. Have a good night.